Now, the velvet ropes are in place across the street from me on Main Street at Shea's Performing Arts Center for Curtain Up Celebrations. The kickoff party is getting underway right now inside of Shea's, but I have to tell you, all the world is a stage right here in Buffalo's Theater District tonight. The energy is electric. We are vibrating down here on Main Street. Whether you're an avid theater goer or just an occasional patron of Buffalo's Theater District, Curtain Up is designed as a celebration for everyone. The theater has been a keystone in Buffalo's history for decades, for centuries. Buffalo has talent second to none. This is the first curtain up for former Congressman Brian Higgins, who is now eight months into his job as president of Shea's Performing Arts Center. People are very excited about the new energy in the theater district. And Higgins is part of creating that new energy. One of his goals is to attract more people from across the region, not only to Shea's, but throughout the city's theater district. Keep in mind, Eileen, there are 109, according to Buffalo, Buffalo Place, uh, restaurants, bars, and coffee shops in and around the theater district. Uh, so we want to make the theater district a 24-hour, seven-day-a-week destination, not just when the theaters are active, but we want to uh, create more activation for those theaters. And his concept is being embraced by theater leaders. Michael Russo is co-president of the Theater District Association of Western New York. I absolutely think it, it's doable. There, there's, there's such a, a fabric to downtown in so many many ways. Obviously, theater, theater is a big part of it, but there's so many reasons that we want a vibrant downtown, and I think that that's, that's a very achievable goal. We are going to see thousands of people on our street tonight looking through our windows, recognizing new businesses that they've never seen before. I also met with Cassie Cameron, producer director at the Irish Classical Theater, asking her about Higgins' goal. Do you think his vision is doable? I do. I do. I think that there's a lot of opportunities down here. There's a lot of spaces. And so to make this area more walkable, more shoppable. The Irish Classical will be one of 11 theaters with curtain up performances Friday night called Dracula, a comedy of terrors. It is a sexy, campy, hilarious take on Dracula where we have five actors playing over 30 characters. Now, those 11 performances begin at 7.30 at various theaters. Shays will be holding a cabaret event inside, but another big party, the final act, begins right at 10 o'clock right here on Main Street for a huge street party. Now, I just want Mel to pan the camera over if she can. There is a bride and groom that just came down the street for wedding photos, and uh, now they are kind of in the midst of the festivities that are just getting underway here on Main Street in downtown Buffalo. Reporting live, Eileen Buckley, 7 News.